Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to set up custom user certificate template with auto enrollment in Windows Server 2019 certification authority. Remember, this is a test environment created in virtual box so you can have an idea about the configuration steps. We are using the same test lab which we have used in the last video. We have total two virtual machine. One is Windows Server 2019 computer and that is the our root domain controller for mylab.local domain. As you can see the host name of this computer is ws2k19-dc01.mylab.local. And on this server we have installed and configured enterprise root certification authority. We have one more virtual machine that is our Windows 10 client computer with the name ws10-cli01. This Windows 10 client computer is also part of our Active Directory domain malb.local. Let's go back to our domain controller. I'm going to divide this demo into three steps. The first step in that we will set up user accounts and groups with one OU. As this time we are not going to apply the policy from domain level. We will link the GPU at OU level. Second. We will create a custom user certificate template from existing user certificate template. Third, we will create and link GPO to that OU and in the last step, we will test the result on our client computer. So in the first step, let's set up a user account and for that we need to open Active Directory users and computer snapping. Fine, here you can see I have one OU with the name test user accounts. And under that, as you can see, we have a total two users, test user one and test user two. And both users are member of this group test users. Let's confirm from members tab. As you can see, test user one and test user two are there. See, to save the time, already I have created users, groups and OU. So we want to link the GPO to our test user accounts. Let's minimize it. Now we are going for user certificate template. For that, we need to open Certification Authority Console. Let's click on Tools and select Certification Authority. Fine, let's maximize it. Expand the certificate name and here we need to click on Certificate Templates. Whatever templates are there, which our CA can issue will be listed here. But we want to create a custom certificate template and that's why we need to select Certificate Templates we need to right click that and we need to select manage. It is going to open certificate template management console. Here you can see plenty of certificate templates are there. You can use any of the certificate template to create a new certificate template. For this demo, we are going to use this user template. Let's right click on it and select duplicate template. Now the one thing which I want to show you first, let's double click on this. Uh, let me cancel it. Let's double click on this user certificate template and here you can see we have a limited options which we can modify the settings. For example, we are not able to modify the settings related to validity period. And that's the reason that why we are going to create a custom user certificate template with our custom settings. Let's click on OK. Let's again select user certificate template. Let's select duplicate template. Now here the first thing is there on a compatibility tab. You have options to change the compatibility settings, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to change it. If you are pretty sure about that, this certificate recipients will be only Windows 10 client computer, that time you can select it from here. But as of now, I'm not going to change it. Now the first thing which I'm going to modify is on general tab. Here, you need to specify the template display name. For this demo, I'm going to give name MyLab users. Fine, this is the going to be the name of our certificate template. Now here we have options for validity period. See again I am saying that this is the test environment. That's why I am not going to modify all those settings. You can change as per your requirement. Here first thing is there validity period and renewal period is there. If you want you can change it from here. Here we have options if you want to publish this certificate in active directory. And we should have to select this checkbox for a user template. Second thing we have a request handling here you can see the most important thing is there enroll subject without requiring any user input that is the necessary thing. One more thing is that 
which you want to use with user certificate template is allow private key to be exported. Next, on cryptography tab, we're going to change the minimum key size. Now this time, I'm going to use 4096. Fine. Let's move to extension tab. And here you can see encrypting file system, secure email and client authentication application policies already selected. If you want to modify this policy, that time you can click on edit. And here, if you want to add any other application policy, you can add it here. Or if you want to modify any existing application policy, suppose if you want to remove it, then you can remove it from here. I'm not going to change it. We're going to use the default one. Now, the one more thing which I'm going to change is let's click on security tab. Now, here you can see authenticated users have permission to read as well as a domain users. Your domain users from your domain have a enrollment permission. But we're not going to use this permission. So I'm going to clear the checkbox for this. I'm going to add that uh, security group which we have created under Active Directory Users and Computers, which is a test user. So I want to make sure that only the test users group member will auto enroll or enroll for this certificate template. Let's click on check names and we are going to select test users. Let's click on OK. Select the test users, read, enroll, and auto enroll. I'm going to be with this three permission. If you want, you can assign a domain users read permission so they can read that certificate template, but they are not able to enroll for this certificate template. Fine. One more setting is there. If you want, you can modify that here. If you want to replace any existing certificate template with this certificate template, that time you can add it here. But as of now, we are not going to do that. Simply now, I'm going to click on this apply and OK button. So now we have a custom certificate template for our users. Whenever, if you want to modify any settings at any time, that time you can simply double click on it. And here, all those settings are there. Now you can modify that because this is the custom certificate template. Fine. Now let me close this certificate template management console. Now we need to issue that certificate template to our certificate authority. So our CA can distribute it. For that, we need to right click on certificate templates here click on new and select certificate template to issue now all those templates will be listed here you have to find your certificate template which you want to issue in our case it is my lab users so i'm going to select it and let's click on ok button now here you can see that template will be available under certificate template in our certification authority management console now let's minimize this console now in the next step, we need to create and link GPO to our OU. So let's click on tools and select group policy management console. Fine. Let's expand group policy objects because this time I'm going to create the policy first. Let's right click on it and select new. You have to give a meaningful name to your GPO. Fine. As you can see, I have given the name to our GPO auto enrollment certificate policy for test users GPO. Let's click on OK button. Let's select the policy, right click on it and select add it. Now this time we are going to apply this policy on user account. That's why we need to add the settings under user configuration. Let's expand policies, expand Windows settings and expand security settings. Let's click on public key policy. The first policy which we need to modify is certificate services client auto enrollment. Let's double click on it. Configuration model, we need to select it to enable. Let's select the both checkboxes for renew expired certificates, update pending certificates and remove revoke certificates as well as update certificates that use certificate templates. You need to click on apply and OK. That will be enough. Now we need to close this group policy management editor console and we need to attach this group policy object to our OU. Our OU is that test user account. Under that OU, we have a user account. So let's select that OU, right click on it and select link an existing GPU. Let's select auto enrollment certificate policy for test users GPU and click on OK. Find that policy has been successfully linked to our OU. Now already on our client computer, I have logged in as a test user one. As you can see, 
and before we update the group policy first of all we are going to check for the certificate so let's press windows r key type mmc and press enter let's click on file and select add and remove snapping click on certificates and click on add as you can see this time we don't have the options to select service account or computer account because standard user doesn't have a permission to read other certificates let's click on ok expand certificates if you click on personal as you can see that is totally empty because not a single certificate template is configured with auto enrollment now we want to update the group policy and for that we are going to use the command gp update slash force now the first thing I am going to open command prompt at a command prompt I am going to type command gp update slash force let's press enter key ok as you can see computer base and user base policy has been updated successfully let's close this command prompt and let's click on certificates I am going to click on this repress button now let's click on personal again and here you can see we don't have the certificate yet let's refresh it fine I am going to close this and I am going to log out from this windows 10 client computer let's again log in as a test user 1 fine let's again check for the certificate let's click on file and select add and remove snapping click on certificate add and click on ok and definitely certificate will be not there because we have missed one settings fine as you can see still certificate is not there let's go back to our domain controller to resolve the problem and first i'm going to click on failed request now here you can see here two requests are there because here you just see the message is there that email name is not available in the request let me show you something first let's go for the manage let's open certificate management console let's select our mylab users certificate template now where is that option i need to find it out not here okay on a subject name tab here you can see here that option is selected include email name in subject name and that's the reason that email name is not specified in the user account properties and that's why our certificate authority is rejecting this certificate request now here you can see that two certificates are there that are rejected by our certificate authority so to solve this problem we can do one thing we can set up the email address in this field or we can remove that settings from that certificate template now as of now we don't have email address for our user accounts and that's why i'm not going to put it here and suppose if you have an email address that time you can specify here in the property of user account but i'm not going to do that i'm going to simply remove this checkbox and we're just going to use a upn name fine let's click on apply and click on ok now our problem will be resolved fine then let's go back to our windows 10 client computer after changing the settings again i'm going to update the group policy fine policy has been updated successfully let's close the command prompt and let's click on certificates click on refresh button and now this time you can see we have a certificate under personal which is issued to our user test user one and as you can see we have associated private key with that and this certificate has been issued by our internal certificate authority mylab-ws2k19-d01-ca and now we can verify the same thing on our certificate authority as well let's click on issue certificate here you can see after 6 we have a directly request id number 8 which is uh, assigned to our user 1 mylab slash user 1 and here you can see the name of certificate template which is mylab users so this is the way how we can create custom certificate template in windows server 2019 certification authority with auto enrollment settings that concludes our video demonstration on how to set up custom user certificate template with auto enrollment in windows server 2019 thank you all for watching this video